Did you enjoy school? So I didn't really get to go to school. Why were you too naughty? I was a troubled kid at that, 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 that then time store. Why? What did you do? Probably because I lost my dad. So it's like when I was like 11, 12, 13, my head was... Is that how old you were when you lost your dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11? 11. 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name, my name is Bando. My rapper. I'm coming to go on a date, innit? Go on a date. Do you know mm. who you're going on a date with today? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like the look of Michelle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's nice, so she's pretty still. I'm definitely not a date person, so. I wouldn't say one night. Like, that's my younger days, but like, yeah, innit? instead of going on a date. A couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, a couple of, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, I do feel like I can handle it, again. You have to wait and see, man. Born ready. Hello. Hello, you good? Yeah, are you? I'm good, thank what's you. What's your name? Bando, what's yours? Michelle, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Michelle. Cheers. Sexy still. He's late. He showed up in a tracksuit. What is this? So where did you come from today? I come from Tottenham, you know, North London. Where did you come from? Leicester. Leicester? Do you like wine? No, nah, I'm just drinking it, come here now. <laughs> How old are you? Yeah, I'm 22. How old are you? Older. Oh my God, he's 22. What is this? She's a bit of a keeger. Yeah. <laughs> How old? Older. You shouldn't ask a woman her age. All right, cool, fair enough. Especially on a first date. Do you date a lot? I don't, you know. Is this your first date this year? First date this year, yeah. It is? Yeah, for real. Because you have not had a single date this I year? I ain't been out to eat with a girl this year, no. He is definitely lying. So if you don't do first dates, are you more of a just a come over kind of guy? Something like that, so. What, and they just come? Something like that, so. Is that how you have it? I wouldn't say just come over, like, we don't, we don't have to go to the yard, but we're not about to go, like, to a restaurant in front of a bag of people. It's not happening. Where are you going to go, McDonald's? Never. Yeah, maybe. Drive through. Drive through, eat in the car park. Exactly that. Vibes. Or, not even McDonald's. You might park up to go to Sahara Grill and Nando's, but we're not going to go and eat inside. You're gonna That's eat in the car? Yeah. Or we on go the back. lap? Yeah, or we go back. Sauce everywhere? Not everywhere, but. Bare napkins on deck. It works, bare napkins. Wow. It works, exactly that stuff. You really know how to make a woman feel special. You think so? Yeah. You're being sarcastic. I'm clearly being sarcastic. No. I can literally take myself to McDonald's. Yeah, like me taking a girl to McDonald's is calm, isn't it? It's like a Jaffe, you can't go wrong with a Jaffe. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Would there be a specific woman that you would go out for? That you'd think, all right, cool, she's worth me taking her on a date, a real date, not in the car? Obviously, obviously if it feels my girlfriend. So she'd have to be an official girlfriend before you were... Yeah, 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 obviously. It's the first date, so why is she asking me so much, like, mad questions already? What's your red flags in a woman? Red flags in a woman. If you're just, you know, if you're just too, too rude. Rude. You ain't got no, no manners for me. I like attitude though, but when it comes to being rude, nah. Yeah, it's like bad smell, you got to smell nice. Smelled how? Can you specify? Um, in the, well, nice, just didn't in the nicest way possible, just like before. Oh, down there? Yeah, but obviously, oh, wow. girls have their days where and I'm not judging, do you know what I'm trying to say? But that was just when I was younger, like 18, 19, you know? I thought you meant just like had BO or something. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. But how would you know that initial meet with someone if she had? Obviously, I told you, innit? Wow. Bam, 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 yeah. First time? Yeah, it wasn't that bad, obviously, but that was just, that's just a red flag for me still. Come back, but boom, bam, bam, innit? If you know, then you know, innit? <laughs> it's literally one of them ones. Wow. So, how often do you have sex, Bando? Mm? Huh? How often do I have sex? Yeah. My business and not her business. Like, I don't know. Every other week, so. Every other week? Mm. With the same female or a different female? Same female. Same female? Mm. Always? Always the same female. So, you've got one female that you're loyal to? I wouldn't, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't have a girlfriend, I'm not. But I'm just not out here sleeping like, with a bag of gel. Like, it's not my thing, so. How often do you have sex? I don't. Pardon me? Nope. You know, she's chatting a lot of rubbish about she doesn't have sex. Of course she has sex. So, you said you keep it to one female. What's your body count? My body count? Mm-hmm. Yeah, now my body count as well. She didn't need to, to, know, to know my body count, so... I oh, was under 20? you got a straight face, you're not... Oh, you're smiling. What you're is You're smiling at me nah, because I'm I know you're lying. I'm not lying. It's under 20. Under 20. Has anyone got a cap? 
Look me in my eyes and say it's under 20. It's under 20? You mean it? Maybe. I don't believe you. Under 20, under 30, along them. But it's not more than 30? No. Yeah, I don't believe his body counts under 20. It's your body count. Zero. Zero? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gas though, that's, yeah. So are you active in the DMs? Do you shoot your shot through DM? And me? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be sliding in still. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many slide-ins? Not a lot, but... Wait, what's your favourite chart line? Me? I'm not really a, more of a text, you know, I'm more of a one-eye one eye emoji guy, just... You just send an emoji? Yeah, one eye or two eyes. But them two eyes? Mm. You'll just drop that in someone's DM? Drop that. And they'll respond? I'll just get the eyes back. And then... What's your snap? He said, that's it? You haven't got any other lines? No, I do. But that's just like my go-to, like... That's just a casual, easy like one. Casual. What if you're really trying to impress? Alright, cool. If it, alright, cool. The eye emoji is calm, but if it looks like, if it looks like this girl might be like too busy to apply back to the eye emoji, I might just, I, I don't even know how. Nah, I just always stick to my one eye. <laughs> I swear to you, I might like one two pictures and try to get your attention. He is actually quite cute. He's a little sweetheart. So, what's your success rate with your one eye emojis? Ninety percent, you know. Ninety percent. Yeah. Does nah. that ten percent burn? Nah, that ten percent doesn't burn. Only because it's some big names I'm trying to... Who? Nah, just... Not who, but yeah. Who's, a, who's your celebrity crush? No, I don't have a celebrity crush. Who's the, one of the 10% that you've slid in with the eyes that, that just hurt you a little not bit more say than no the rest? Names. Yeah, no comment. No comment. <laughs> I would even, even, even say skills from London, you know. I'll be reaching out to like America and shit. Okay, you're yeah, trying to yeah, go international? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. Right. I'm trying to branch out, you know. Them emojis are going worldwide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All over the place still. I love that for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, worldwide, didn't it? I'll be sending like messages, trying to get no people and shit. Do you enjoy the industry that you're in? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. How long have you been doing it? Yeah, I've been in the industry, I've been doing music since like 2019. 2019? So four years? Four years. And you enjoy it. Mm. What's your favourite part about it? Probably performing, you know. What, like live performances? Yeah, live performances. So. Do you do many? Mm. We've been since like the last year and a half, uh, a little incident happened in Selfridges and everything. So I haven't really been getting What happened shows. in Selfridges? What happened in Selfridges. Something happened in Selfridges and, um, yeah. What happened? In <laughs> nah, Selfridges? something bad happened in Selfridges, isn't to it? To you? Like, Nah, just around me, so that's kind of, you know, you know thing. Yeah, one thing, a little altercation happened in Selfridges. Someone got injured, and obviously because of my face being there, I'm the face of the case, so... What is he on about? He's literally talking in riddles. And from there, yeah, I just feel like the shows think, feel like I'm just too bad to come to places and that's it. Oh, so you've not, not been, you've not been getting the gigs that nah. you desire because you... I'll get back to there, though. I'll just keep a clean sheet and, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel like your lifestyle affects your career? Definitely, but I feel like without my lifestyle, I wouldn't have my career, so it's like, yeah. It goes hand in hand. Exactly that. So, in regards to your lifestyle, you're still involved in kind of like a road lifestyle? Not at all, you know. It's good. Uh, so you left it all behind for your music? I left it behind years ago. You just like to rap about it now? I just like to rap about it. You know, especially because I got my son now. The road life is just in the past. I just think about the future still. So what do you feel was like the best moment of your career so far? The best moment of my career so far was probably headlining um, the Reading and Leeds Festival. You know. When was that? That was in 2021. It was the last act on the main stage and that was like the best day of my life still. When it comes to like music and I've never felt like so gassed within myself and proud of myself. Like, That's yeah, good, like, so you felt proud of yourself. Of Is that the moment where you just thought, yes, I've made it? Kind of, when I, when I saw my I people like... were singing along to even like my solo songs and that, like, yeah. It sounds like he's really turned his life around. Do you feel like there's, there's like a, a negative influence with the music that you make and the, the industry that you're in? Definitely, but <clears throat> I don't feel like that's for everyone because everyone's entitled to like their own opinion. So some people listening to my music might just feel like this guy just talks about shooting, stabbing, selling drugs. Then there's other people that actually like live the life and would want to listen to it. But I never like told any kids to do what I'm rapping about, just enjoy the music. Do you think you're a good influence on the younger generation? Hell yeah, I try to be. I'll be telling kids stay in school and shit. Stay in school? Yeah, stay in school and just don't pick up no badness, innit? It's not worth it. I like that. 
So outside of OFB, do you have any like close friends within the industry? I've been told as well, I'm more of a guy that gives like unapproachable vibes. Even my friends have told me, when I'm out, I give unapproachable vibes. I've got one, two friends like K-Trap. Are you quite introverted? Yeah. You like to keep yourself to yourself? Keep myself to myself and just my... F I don't really trust people. I don't like making new friends, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He really doesn't seem unapproachable to me. It's a techie one, I'm a bit unapproachable still. Yeah, now trust me, I mean well, I'm a nice guy, very nice guy. So how did you find your love for music? How did you get into rapping? I didn't even know, just from like young, me, SG, it was just like messing, up, messing about with each other, just rapping from like 15, 16. And then, yeah, in like 2018, we just started going to the studio, not taking nothing serious. And then one of the days, one of the tunes we done just went mad still. Did you post it on, on YouTube or? Yeah, YouTube. So you just randomly posted an, a randomly song on YouTube? Dropped about three, four, five songs, and the sixth song got like a million views in a day. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. What song was it? That was Ambush. Okay. My song was called Ambush, and then yeah, so it got a million views in a day, and then from there, yeah. So then you thought, oh, actually people like what yeah, I do. Yeah, but I never thought like, oh, I'm doing music and I'm going to blow to get. So when you were younger making music, where were you, where were you growing up? North London, Tottenham. And what was that like? It was fun growing up, innit? Was, was it? I enjoyed my childhood still. Yeah, Tottenham, I grew up in Tottenham, and that's Dick Wood, Wood a Farm, not far from like, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And yeah, that's just me. You don't like Tottenham Hotspur, though? Nah, I don't like Tottenham Hotspur, I support Chelsea still. Did you enjoy school? So I didn't really get to go to school. Why? Were you too naughty? I was a troubled kid at that, 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 that then time of school. Why? What did you do? Probably because I lost my dad since like when I was like 11, 12, 13, my head was... Is that how old you were when you lost your dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11. 11? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my head then was just like full of anger. So when I'm going to school, it's just like... He's obviously been through a lot and he's had to deal with a lot. Yeah, school, that was long. It was mad long. Do you know what? It's so funny because it's the same thing that happened to me. I swear down. Yeah, as soon as my dad died when I was, I was 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got kicked out of school. Yeah, it affects you as a young age door. Yeah. Of course, shout out to um, all the little the little boys and the little girls out there listen to my music. They stay in school and work, whatever you're doing, you get it. And yeah, from year nine, got kicked out, didn't do nothing. Year 10, I went to college, got kicked out, and then... Pff, do you I think am. you just didn't have the focus because you were still riddled with trauma? Yeah, I feel like even when I wanted on, to focus, I couldn't. Because your mind was just elsewhere, yeah. just trying to process and deal with something that's just happened that was tragic. Exactly that story. And you have a good relationship with your mum? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really close? Really, really close. I love my mum and shout out my mum still. So being a rapper, when you first started and, you know, the views started growing and you started growing, did that bring more attention from females? Hell yeah. Did you love it? Yeah. Yeah. Still do love it. <laughs> swear to you. Bear girls. Puts a smile on my face when I see shorties messaging me on Instagram. Really? Yeah, like, you enjoy it? You enjoy the attention? Even when I don't reply, like, it's just like, yeah. What's the maddest DM you've ever received? Probably a nude. A nude? Yeah. I bet you get them all the time. I wouldn't say all the time, but... You're not impartial to a nude in the DM? Mm, I'm not going to reply to you just sending me a nude. Like, you don't respond? No, 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 no. What if she looks banging? No, no, no. no. Yeah, no, I don't really like it when girls start moving mad still. So if you were to settle down, mm. but you obviously you have all this female attention, do you think you'd have the abilities to stay loyal? Yeah. For how long? For a long time still. A long time, but not forever? Not forever. Obviously, if I see you moving funny or anything, then try and know, yeah. I'm loyal, I'm a loyal guy still. I'm not sure I believe him. <clears throat> so you don't think you could be tempted out of your relationship? No, like, I swear down, I can be loyal still. You can be or you will be. I can be loyal. I have been loyal. So if we go into a relationship now, you can't cheat on me? I wouldn't cheat on you still. You wouldn't be allowed to anyway, but there wouldn't even be allowed to be a temptation of cheating. It wouldn't come to my mind anyway, though. So you wouldn't even think about another woman? Nah, not if I'm interested in who I'm interested in, then they ain't got to worry about nothing. Oh, I love that. No, you wouldn't date someone with children? Yeah, but if you've got like two or three, then no. You wouldn't? Like, it would be straight right up? No, no, no. I could sleep with you and shit, but we're not going to get into a whole relationship if you've got two or three kids. Why? It's not my responsibility. Um, but you'd accept one? Yeah, I'd accept one, but then two or three, you know, what about when I, have, when I want to have mine with you? It's like, 
Don't you have more then? No. Nah. No? no. It's, it's just a no-go, you just won't consider it? No, I don't want to be put in that position where I've got to treat my kid better than certain. But you wouldn't, because if you was going to be with someone who had kids, surely you would treat their children the same. Obviously, I'd treat their children the same, but my kid's obviously got to come first, because it's my kid. No, I'm not doing that, so... I'm out of the question then. But it's your whole family now, your are Yeah, hence why I wouldn't family. get put in that position, because I wouldn't want to... But it'd be the same if she had one child. No, nah, I would treat them both the same. That's easy. You've it's only easy. got a love for two kids. It's easy, just like my kid and one kid, not her, two, three kids, and then my kid. Like it's but you won't wait. But would you? Would you? You would, yeah. I would date someone with children. Like, I mean, yeah. if you have four kids, you would get with them. Ooh, four is excessive. Um, it depends on who he is, where he was in life, and if I was financially stable enough to, to bring on four extra children as well as if he was, yeah. you know? Yeah. I think there'd be a lot of things I'd have to consider, but I would never rule it out. I think people have their past, they've lived their lives, but I won't judge someone based on how many children they had. I am not here to judge. No, I don't judge either, but yeah. It's just not a preference for you? Not for me. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any female friends? I have one, two female friends, but not like any girls that I can go to about advice or anything like this. Do you have any friends in your life that you would have sex with? No. Yeah. Hence why they're my friend, isn't it? Otherwise, I'd have just kept you as a ting and still spoke to you like that. Fair enough. That's what I was checking. If yeah. there was just a platonic would you? friendship. No, I wouldn't have sex with any of my male friends. But what, do you think your male friends would have sex with you? No, never. Why wouldn't they? They just wouldn't. How do you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's gas, though. That's. Yeah. They're my friends. They've, do you know what I mean? They've been in my life. They've seen me as a friend. They've seen me with other men. So they you don't me. reckon if you used to go to them and say you're going to sleep with them, they would say no, you're saying? They would say no. Like, I have a male best friend, and he's been my best friend since we were about 11. Okay. And I know full well, if I got into bed with him drunk and tried to stick on him, he would slap me. And he's going to say no. Slap me around my face, and, and he would probably push me out of bed and never That's speak mad. to me. I don't believe that, though. You don't? Nah, if he was, like, both drunk and that, but obviously. Well, but do you think you would if you had a female <coughs> friend? If we were friends? If me and you were friends, and you got into bed yeah. telling me. You know what's going on. So you're not friends with me then? I am friends with you, but if you was to get down to that, then yeah. Yeah, I already told her she would know what happened now. But if I was in that bed, still would be getting down. A very young mentality. <laughs> what? Does <laughs> every camera need to see that? No. No, I don't, I don't give her, you know. Never? Never. You've never I'm gave head? Constantly say this on camera. I've never given head to no girl. I've, yeah. Why? What about it that you're so against? It's not even that I'm against it. It's just not my thing still. I know people that do. I don't judge them. But my mouth ain't going not near no ass, no vagina. And I must just keep it as that for now. I mean forever. Forever still. I don't see myself doing that. It's not your thing? Big no as well. Um, big no. I don't like, I don't judge people like, you get, I have friends out of the world that they might do one or two things. I don't judge them, I don't care, but it's like me, and myself, my mouth ain't going there still. So. What, ever? Ever. Never? Ever, never. But you wouldn't even consider it? I've never thought, I'm never like, like my thing is, I ban around with people, I laugh at how people that do it, but it's not funny, but like, I just, <laughs> I'm grown, everyone's grown, innit? So if you do it, you do it. Obviously, when I was a kid, I used to say, ah, disgusting, but it's natural and I get it. It's sex, isn't it? Like, girls give head, but I just don't give head, in it. He's very selfish. He doesn't please this woman in the way that she'd like. That is a red flag. So you will just never, No, nah, I like to receive, man. Ever. So you're selfish? You could say that. Would I like her, you know? Nah, no? nah. <laughs> definitely no. not me, so. Okay. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Fair enough, I can't change your mind. Yeah, and no, yeah. Go on. Obviously, if we're comfortable, obviously, farting's a natural thing. If I'm in bed, I'm not about to just hold my foot and die, just like make my belly start moving. If I've just like come around you and think, then no, in it. Yeah. But if I'm comfortable, then why not? Fair. Why would you, would you feel comfortable for a woman to do it around you? I'll probably be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Like, obviously, but if she done it and said, like, pardon, like, fuck it, innit? Like, it's just natural, innit? What am I gonna do? Tell you to hold your. You no, know, but like, leave the room. Yeah, you can leave the room, so. Would it put you off a girl if she did that around you? 
if it was like in the same bed and shit, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, that shit would put me off. But if it just, I swear, I've never experienced that. So no girls ever fired around you? No girls ever fired around me. If they have, it's got, it's been quiet and it hasn't smelled because, <laughs> yeah. So you know how you mentioned Hedy earlier? Yeah. Do you think the older generation around you influenced your music career? Most definitely. Still. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Did you, were they already making music before you? Yeah, yeah, they was already making music from when I was young. So you saw that and you wanted to be a part of that? You wouldn't say wanting to be a part of that, but obviously, like, as you said, Hedy, Hedy rapping, that inspired me from young to just, like, want to like, wanna rap more storm. Then obviously he bought the brand for Tottenham OFB and, yeah, so just, like, give credit to him. And it's true. Okay, so do you think without Hedy you would have made it in the music industry? I feel like I would have made it in the music industry because of who I am anyway. But I don't feel like it would have, it would have came so like quick and bam, bam, bam. Because obviously Hedy was hoping to share the music and but I, I do reckon eventually. You would have got to where you got anyway, but you think you just got a quick head start because of exactly Hedy helping that. you out. Yeah. Okay, and you still maintain a great relationship with him? Yeah, yeah, that's my guy still. Yeah, nah, shout out Hedy, that's, that's my big bro still. What do you think one of the toughest things you've ever had to deal with is? One of the toughest things I probably had to like deal with in this life is when SJ went to jail. And I free SJ a hundred times, that's my brother still. I was just started off my career with him and that and then and it's not just about him going to jail, it's like he'd even make it to twenty one years of age and then he got twenty one years and it's like bro, I felt like a no homo but like a part of me. Went missing because that's like my guy. So were you two like really close? Yeah, yeah, up? yeah. I was hurt about that for for ages. I'm still hurt about this. When did he go to jail? He went to jail in like 2019. He went to jail. Oh, so literally as you started your yeah, career? Yeah, yeah. So literally as we just took off. But he still makes music now. Yeah, he does one, two things when he can. If he goes to, to the, whatever Joe is in, if there's a studio in there, you'll make one, two things still. So. And is he God? Do you still have contact? Do you go to visits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I visited him two days ago, three days ago. Yeah, he calls me every day at store, so I just keep in contact. Do with you him. feel like it hurts you more knowing that he would be where you are now hadn't he gone to jail? I feel like it hurts more that I know that we would both be further than where I am now, if that makes sense. I think deep down he's actually a really genuine person. What if your girl was going on a girl's holiday every other month? <laughs> then you're not my girl. Why? Never in a million years still. Cause I know, I ain't see me. I know what girls are on and they go on their girl's holiday. Trip. What if she's just going on like a nice chilled holiday? Beaches, um, bars. You can go on your holiday, but you're not going to be going on your holiday every month. If you want to be doing that, be single. Really? I'm not going to judge you or hold you or control you until you don't go this and that, but but you wouldn't have a girl that wanted to go on a girl's holiday every month. Even if it was just good vibes, beach Even holidays. Even if it was just good vibes. I know what, ha what happens on holidays stays on holidays. So. Well, that's not necessarily true because she could be going just to travel the world but and you know have new experiences. I'd be, seeing, I'd be seeing girls on holiday that have boyfriends that are proper, like in London, they're loyal to their boyfriends. They wouldn't speak once so on holiday, it's a different atmosphere. So you think people switch up on holiday? I've seen it, I see it, especially when girls would go to the bank. If she was your girl, wouldn't you trust her to just have... I would, but it's like you go on one, two holidays, we're not going to go on holiday every other month. I'll just leave. I'll you just think break that's too up. excessive? Exactly. But she could have girls' holidays. Yeah, you could have girls' holidays. Just not excessive amounts. Well, at least he's willing to compromise. What if I slept with one of your ops? <laughs> then I'll just call you a whore, innit? You're just a whore, you're just a whore. So I'm not really use that word, but you're just a whore, you're done at it after that. That is so rude. Would you not speak to me again? Nah, I'll just get my lip back and get back, actually, and just go for one of your friends. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why I just don't date rappers. How petty. What if I couldn't cook? I'm not fast. You're not fast? No. You would date a woman that can't cook for you? You ever heard of an air fryer? Of course you have. An air fryer? Yeah. What's an air fryer going to do? It's like having an oven. <laughs> you can't cook, it's just right, pointless cool, utility. But obviously if you're talking about like proper, proper food like that, I don't know, I'm not really one to judge, you know, you can't, I can't cook. But you'd expect a woman to be able to cook? Yeah, obviously if you can't cook, you can't cook, you're going to have to learn, but I'm not going to not talk to a woman because she can't cook. That's, really? Nah, I'm not. So what if you moved in with your girlfriend and she can't cook and every night she's saying, well, what are we eating? As I said, she's going to have to learn how to cook in it or it's going to have to cook. What if she just like made you noodles and toast I don't every eat day? noodles. 
I know. <laughs> okay, so it's not the be all and end all. No. Okay. What if one of your friends rang you in trouble and I was going into labour with your baby? They're not going to lie. I'm going to have to go to my friend that's in trouble still. But obviously, you're, you're, no, you're going to go hospital safe and that. How do you know I'm going to be safe? I could have any complication given birth. It just depends what type of, like, you've got to give her, like, a scenario. How's my friend in trouble? It's, it's deep trouble. Deep trouble, like. Yeah, and she's in deep labour. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going for my friend's thoughts. If I can save my friend's thoughts, obviously, you're going to be good, man. You're going to go to hospital. Are you shit. serious? Is he joking? She'd <laughs> yeah. leave me in labour to give birth to It depends to your the child. same trouble if my friend's dying or if he's... It depends what trouble you're saying. Like, you could be in trouble with police, like, I'm calling it. But if he's, like, dying or he needs my help, I'm going to him. What if it wasn't as serious as life or death? Oh, no, I didn't want to go to... Then you'll go to your Yeah, yeah. It, it could only be life or death because my youth would come before anyone. OK. Oh, that was nice. I really rate that. Do you want children? Yeah, I already got a son still. How old? Oh, he's got a son? He's just gone one. One? Are you a good dad? Yeah. Do you see him often? Yeah. Yeah, my good dad. I love my child. Did you want to have a child that young? I did, you know. You did? Yeah. My dad had me when he was 20, so I always said to myself when I was younger, I want to have my first kid 20, I had my first kid 21, though. When you envisioned yourself as a father, do you feel like you match up to the expectation that you set of yourself? Yeah, I wouldn't come on, like, the camera and say I'm the best dad in the world, but I do try to, you know, I'm still learning, still. OK, so you're learning as you go, but you show up for him, yeah. you provide for him. Yeah, I do want to have, I want to have, like, 12 kids though my whole life. You want 12 children? Yeah, my whole life. Ten. But you were just moaning about having a girl that had two. No man is getting 12 children from me. I'm talking about when I get to the ages of like 60 when it's time for me to proper settle down. I want to have not 12, 9, 10 children. And that's a life goal for you? That's just like what I want to achieve still. 12 sounds like just too much. Like, let's just be really like 9. So you have no, no intentions of ever being married? Probably when I get to like my 40s, you know. I'll probably so once you finish your 12 kids? Not 12 kids, remember we put it back down to like Oh nine, yeah, we like put it down nine. to nine or 10. 10 kids. It's not my thing to get married. I'm not gonna say, oh, I wanna get married. If it happens, it happens. But I just can't see myself going down on one knee saying, would you marry me right now? Marriage is not something I've got in my mind. Like, I'm still young, so it's, I ain't thought about that yet. What would you do if I wanted to get a BBL? I like natural girls, you know. Do you? So if I was really self-conscious and I said, oh, do you know, I'd feel really more comfortable with a BBL. You can go and do your thing, but I wouldn't help. I wouldn't pay. You wouldn't pay for my BBL? No. Would you like it? As I said, I just like natural, you know, like proper natural touch. I don't What's this? Me. What is this? You just kept doing these like a crab. If you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. But I don't really like when my girlfriend feels like she needs to wear makeup. If you want to wear makeup because you want to, come. If you, that's like natural. Now, you know what I'm squeezing it? I don't want to be squeezing that. Like. Silicon? Yeah, what's that? Is that what it is? Oh, no, BBL is like fat injection. Yeah, I don't want to, I just want to want just natural, natural skin and natural, yeah. Okay, so you wouldn't be happy with me having a BBL. What would you do if we went on a second date and I was wearing the same outfit as last time? If I know you got clothes, I don't care. <laughs> if I know you can, but if I just start praying, like, right, you only got this one outfit, it's like, pfft. She might have like loads of casual wear. The second but she time's only has... come, but if you do it again on the third time, I'm gonna question if you want me to get you an outfit for our next date, <laughs> like without being rude and that. And if I rate you and that, why not? So you would you'd look overlook the fact that she's wearing the same outfit for the third time. Yeah, the second time. No, the second come again. The second time, calm in it. I don't know what happened, but the third time I would ask you. Do you want me to buy you some clothes? Do you want to go like So you wouldn't embarrass her or put her no, down no, no, no. or leave her, you would just buy her some new clothes. So really and truly, everyone should show up in the same outfits with you and they just get a new wardrobe. I'm doing something wrong because no one's ever bought me a new outfit. Next time I see you, I'm wearing this. Have you had a nice date today? I have, have you? Yeah. Has this been the best date of your life? Has, has, can't really been on no. So just say, say yes. Yeah. Yeah, it has been the best story. day of your it has life. has been the best day still. Is this the best day of your life? Best day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could say that still now I'm with you. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for coming. It's thank been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Cheers. See you soon. <laughs> it was quite nice. Um, I saw a side to him I didn't actually know existed, which was lovely. Um, he wasn't as shy as I thought he would have been. He was a little bit quiet. But 
Yeah, we had quite a similar mindset with a few things and it was quite lovely. I liked it still. I liked it still. He agreed with a lot of things and it's like, ugh. Um, but yeah, no, he, he handled it well anyway. I don't think I got grilled still. I feel like my answers I was giving back didn't determine it to be a grillian. He is a lovely person, but he's very young. Depends if she would like to see me again still. Work-wise, I could definitely work with him in, in whatever. Um, as far as d a day in the nodes, to be strictly platonic. If you had to pick, do you want to see yeah. him again? Why not, yeah. I'm just not ready to end up being one of his baby mums. From the numbers she's already given out, maybe like seven, but I'm expecting her to give me an eight, 8.5. An 8.5. Well, he showed up late in a tracksuit. Um, he's young. Nice guy, really nice guy. Conversation wise, was a good 7.5. I'm going to say a 7.5.